Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here at Carmston Farm. Um, it looks like we have got to the point now where we can harvest some of our own crops that we've managed to, um, to sow and yeah so we're in July now we've moved on quite a bit uh, let's just have a quick recap we've currently got 60 sheep on the go we've currently got 40 cows 20 of which are 90 percent pregnant so next month we should have more babies exciting for that one uh, we've got quite a bit of slurry we need to get rid of hay needs replacing uh, straw needs sorting out bit of milk not a great amount i'm hopeful that these ones here once they reach 18 months, I think it is, that's when they can start reproducing. That's when I'm hoping that they'll start uh, producing a lot more milk as well. So still got a few months to go. And then we've got the calves that are coming through. But uh, yeah, currently worth £656 each. So, and yeah, like I say, we've got some wool as well that we do need to get rid of because that has now hit its maximum. But I think for today, we are going to... Can't do it that way. We are going to harvest these crops now it's not a particularly big field this however i don't want it to take all day so i am going to rent a combine i had hoped that there'd be one available for um, a contracting job that i could then borrow buy a new header for it and i could use it that way but that doesn't seem to be the case so we're going to head over to the store now and see what options are available what i've got to consider is it's the bigger the combine the quicker i'll get it done however i do need to rent more items unfortunately we're gonna have to go over these crops and i have to rent more items because the bigger the header then Obviously, I will need a trailer to uh, bring that across to the field. So that's another expense. Really, what I would like <clears throat> is what we talked about in previous video is I would like to... Ooh, I'd like to get the canola mill... Uh, the oil mill, sorry, for the canola. And I've just spotted and completely forgot about these bales completely forgot about them are they ready they are perfectly ready so getting the or i think today what we're going to do is we're going to get the oil mill as well and we're going to locate it in field 10 now unfortunately what this does mean is that i can now not sell field 10 i have to own it because there is a placeable on it. So that is now mine. But, like I say, we have got the silage which we can get rid of. And I'm just thinking now, where is the bale trailer? Because we did have one. And I now can't remember where I've left it. This is embarrassing. There's the tedder. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is it in the... I think it's in the field, isn't it? Have I gone wrong here already? Let's just back this up. should really have um, made a note of all these things before I actually uh, just decide to leave them in and around the map. I wouldn't mind, but I own perfectly decent sheds where all these items can be stored. And yet I've just decided to scatter them everywhere. Let's just have a quick look up here. I'm not 100% sure there's something red there. Or is it? 
Or is that a tree? No, there's something red. That looks like the bale trailer. Okay, so we're going to quickly get that hitched up. Whilst driving all over this man's field. Get this into position. This takes uh, 24 bales. And roughly it's around about a thousand pound a bale. So it should generate us quite a bit of money this. I want to get to the point though where I'm not reliant on doing the silage. And hopefully I have to after today we'll be okay. I think Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna commit to it. So let's go down to construction. And we want production. Factories. Now then, we've got the bakery, the carpenter, the dairy, grain mill. That is an option. How much was the grain mill? £96,000. Why is it decided to... No, no. We're going a bit slow here. Cereal factory, don't want that. Oil mill, there we go. So this takes olives, canola and sunflower and, produce, and turns them into oil. £80,000. So we're just going to select that. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I'm... Uh, da, 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 I need to go this way now. Completely forgot where I was going. And we're going to put it as tight as we can into this corner. That's going to overlap with something apparently. Yeah, I think that's going to be the best... What? Well, yeah, that's going to be the best place for it. So, there we go. We've done. We've committed to it now. And then also what we're going to do is we're going to hire a combine. Now, like I said, I don't want to go too big because I've got to try and get money back. Now, I've got it's such a big jump from this one to this one. I'm only going to be transporting it literally the other side of the field. So I don't need anything with a huge tank. But I don't think I need anything that's going to take all day. But I think this is going to be okay. I could be very wrong. £3,800. We've just gone for it. So I can't come back now. Well, I can, but I'm going to waste my money. It's only a five metre header. So we're going to get that one. Lease that. Now, hopefully, this fits through the gates. But otherwise, we've got more problems. So, let's just zoom out a little bit so I can see where the header is. Yeah, it's not very big at all. So, this is going to take a bit of time. However, I want to be getting rid of the silage and generating the money off that as quickly as possible which isn't too bad because four of those bales will pay for the lease of the harvester so what I've got on board already is going to pretty much pay for it so we're going to head over to the field very very slowly it would appear I'll try and keep it in third person. I'm just wondering whether I should just cut across this field just to open it up a little bit. There we go. I haven't got um, crop damage on, so I'm not wrecking someone's field here. 
But yeah, there's our factory now in the field. And like I say, we are now committed to owning field 10. It is now ours. We still have £215,000. And hopefully today, um, whether I get it all in the video or not, I'm not 100% sure, but we've got a lot to do. We've got to move the wool. I've got to uh, shift some slurry. I've got to harvest the canola and get it into the oil mill. I've got to collect the bales. I need to sort out the um, straw and hay in the cow shed. So yeah, busy, busy day today. What I'd like to do is that gap there on the right hand side, hopefully the bakery would fit in that. And I want to try and have this field. It's not a particularly big field, so I don't feel as bad if I sacrifice certain areas of it. But I'd like to have both of those production facilities in that same section. And then when I get to own more and more fields, the ones that are in and around it, I will use those for the crops. And I think with the bakery, it's wheat, barley and oats. Obviously, for the oil factory, we've got sunflower, uh, we've got olive, and we've got the, the canola as well. So, yeah, we're just going to get this into position. I'm going to set a worker off on it. Now then, do I be a bit of a cheapskate here? And not get a trailer, but just keep making the trips across... with the harvester and emptying it into the factory there or do we get I'll tell you what I'll do I'll get as many of these done as I can first and generate some income off this and then we'll make a decision as to what we do whether we get a get a small trailer to bring the crops back into Should have used the other tractor for this because the acceleration on the Valtra is poor to say the least. Which we also noticed in the other video when we were going up the hills that time. So I think we are coming to the end of our use with the Valtra, which is a shame really. I would like to keep it in and around the farm. But the equipment I have now is what I'm going to be using going forward. The one idea I did have was to fit a front loader to the Valtra, get pallet forks, get bale forks for it, and use that just for shunting bales around or, or pallets, that sort of thing. But I've, we got the Manitou on, on such a good price. I think it was £40,000 we paid for it. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's now taken up that job and that role just zoom in a little bit I've just seemed to have blocked the entire view there so yeah the idea now is to use the Manitou for that sort of um, that sort of task uh, so yeah I'm I'm struggling to find a job that the Valtra can excel at and it is such a shame because it was the first tractor we ever bought it has been good to us But as we're moving on throughout the uh, throughout the seasons, the machinery will change. I mean, I'm hopeful that by the time I've done all my harvesting this year, we're in July, so we've got three months really worth of harvesting. We, there'll be contracting jobs coming up, etc. Um, we can generate enough income that we can actually own our own harvester at one point. That is a pipe dream for somewhere down the line though, but it is things we need to consider because I don't want to be leasing things all the time. And at the same time, I don't want to be borrowing items as well that, that I just don't give back. So anyway, we're coming up to the uh, up to the selling point now. I haven't checked the price, but between the farm store and the general store, they seem to be very very similar in price, and we're right next to the farm store, so it absolutely it makes sense. Um, 
to send our bales here. We're cutting down on the amount of fuel we're using with these jobs, uh, with these runs back and two. And like I say, they're virtually the same price, so whatever we get here, we would have got at the other, uh, other place as well. So let's have a quick look. Now we got. Oh, I know what I've done there. I'm completing the contracting job. Ideally, I need to take him to the other place. That was a bit foolish. That was a bit foolish. Oh, well, never mind. What's done is done. That's why I need to check the information. It's all right borrowing these items, but you need to check and you need to make notes of what it is you're doing and where you can and can't take things. Like I say, I'm now doing a contracting job, which isn't the end of the world. Like I say, I'm going to get in the region of £20,000 for it, plus whatever money I make off the bail. So... get these ones. I don't know if it's going to be a full load this. Whoops. Kicking out a bit there. We'll get these ones down the bottom end then. We'll just concentrate on the top end then. See? I've just left the mower line around as well. I mean granted alright it will be in that field where I do the majority of the mowing. However, I do need to tidy things up. Keep things neat. That's that's what I should be doing. Yeah, it won't be a full load this. We've just got a few more to go now. Last three. Take us up to 14 bales. I suppose if I do complete it as a contracting job as well, I get to clear all this machinery out of the way, which some of it is in the way. So I think we will do that. And then it's done then. I can forget about it. And then we'll have a quick look and see what else we can borrow, if we can borrow anything. And see if there's a harvester there. Because if there is a harvester there, there will be a tractor unit with a trailer. Which will save us a bit of cash. And unfortunately, at the moment, until we get established enough that... We're making money all year long off this. It is all about saving as much cash as possible at the moment. So let's finish this off and just keep, I just noticed there the message popped up that the uh, tank on the harvester is 80% full. So whatever I decide to do now, I do need to make quick decisions because otherwise I've got a harvester sat there not harvesting. There we go, made an additional £15,000. We're going to, whoops. We're not going to complete the contract. However, there are harvesters available. And good ones too. Don't need anything massive. Oh, that looks amazing, that one. I think we're going to borrow that. And I think what we're going to do is... We're going to cancel that one. 
Right, so now I should have new kits in and around that area. So I'm going to just head over here, get the other tractor that we've just borrowed hooked up with a trailer and get that over to our field. What have we got here? Let's have a quick look. Nice. Right. Let's get in there. The New Holland T8 380 Genesis. Now, if I remember correctly, I think the 380 means that's the horsepower it's got. So as it stands at the moment, I'm going to have to go around here. Uh, as it stands at the moment, we have got a very powerful tractor here, which we can use to do multiple things very well. Just got to make sure and navigate this correctly, and I've got a sneaky suspicion I've just left my tractor in the way. Yes, I have. Of course you have. Let's get this out of the way. so small now compared to compared to being in the new Holland right we'll just put you up here yeah, I'm not 100% sure whether we're going to sell you or not but it could be an option in a minute right let's head over to the canola field and get our very first trailer load of harvest I'm very very excited about this very excited such a long time coming thankfully we've had other things to do whilst we've been waiting for this so it's not like we've been idly waiting for a whole year but this is it now. Go through the gap here. Not really going to be able to not drive over any of the harvest, but. Right, so, as you can see, it's not really done many runs and then it's full, which is good and bad all at the same time. Good that it means we're going to get a decent amount. But it's bad in that I think it is going to take a while. So if we just hop out now, and I think we've got to just hop in here. Why is it not emptying? It did then, didn't it? Why? What a strange... Let's try that one again. Well, you really have to be in it there. Right, off it goes. So let's see if we can run alongside it now with the new Holland. And collect the uh, and collect the harvest that way. It is a big trailer against a very small harvester, so whether this works or not, we'll we'll have to see. But we are emptying. We do need to get a little bit closer, I think. Oh, there's nothing in it. Right, so. Yeah, this is going to take a long time emptying this uh, this harvester because the setup we've got is not ideal for it at all. Not ideal. 
So we've got a couple of thousand litres there. So what we're going to do is we're going to at least get the mill up and running. Need to remember for next time, small harvester, small tractor. I think we got a bit too excited and carried away with the fact that we could do things there. I say we, I mean me. Okay, so we unload. And then we're going to go into production. And we're going to turn on, we're going to activate canola. And we're going to set it to sell. Because I don't want to be going back and to just yet. In case I get to a point where I haven't actually got the time in which to do that. I've got too much to do, I think, personally. And I think I'm going to ruin the production if I trying to get back to doing that job as well. Let's see if we can get this full this time. Got to be so close to the harvester to keep it going. Will it stay there for a bit and just empty? I think it will this time. Don't have to worry too much about that. Right, where else did we see? Let's have a look at production. What did we have before? Right, so let's go in. While that's doing that, getting another tank full, we'll quickly head over to the cow shed. I'm just going to do a few more hay bales. I know they've got plenty of food and it's... They're not going to run out, but I just want to make sure that I've got that. I've got it done. It's ticked off. I don't have to worry about it then. So, up we come. Send it back a little bit. There we go. Down we go. I do need to bring them into storage as well, though, these bales, so... Is that going to accept from there? Yep, that's perfect. We'll get these two as well. One's right at the very front. Hopefully it'll pierce them both. Yep. I think that should be more than enough for the time being. See, I've got the front loader there. It is just pallet forks on that, though, isn't it? So I could take the wool with the tractor. That's one job that can be done. Okay, head back over. What's that? 19% full. So that's got quite a bit to go. Don't have to worry too much about that one. Unfortunately... Yeah, we've got that harvester there that's not going to do anything. Because it would mean rent leasing a header. But unfortunately, we don't have. Um, let's see what other fields are available to harvest. They are all becoming available now, aren't they? Now, these ones down here, the fields cost too much money to be able to do it. Now, I'm hopeful... That once I've done this and I can sell it, I can do this one here, field six, which, whoops, wrong way, should be, yeah, wheat on that one. And hopefully field nine, that's barley. Wheat and barley. 
Un unless we buy the bakery, have no use for us whatsoever. So we could use those just to generate money. We've also got field 21 over here, which I believe is linseed. It's a £460,000 farm, though. Don't have that money at the moment. Like I say, we want to get... I haven't got any more farms to sell. 232, so I need a hundred thousand pounds to get that farm. That one I need to start generating some money quickly. And I'm hopeful now that that will be doing it. One thing I didn't realize from before um, there see the slurry I was looking in completely the wrong section now I've got up here it's sold products and you can see like in March and April says £108, £160 I thought that was the slurry turns out I was very much wrong if you look towards the bottom it says biogas plant income £3,702 £5,639 that was the income from the slurry it turns out slurry is very, very profitable. So we're definitely going to be shifting some more of that. Now when it comes to sold products, that's when that will start increasing now because of the canola that we're using. Or making, I should say. So yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be the idea. Um, looking at the time this video has been on for, I don't think we are going to get everything done today. Uh, not on this video anyway, otherwise, because, well, it's going to take nearly enough an hour. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue with this field. And I'm going to shift the slurry. I'm going to shift the wool. We'll have a recap on the next video on how I did and how much money was generated. And hopefully it puts us in a good place where we can start really, really pushing on with the farm and getting more of it belonging to us. So thanks a lot for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed it, if you did please give it a like, give it a subscribe, any suggestions or comments leave them in the box below, I'll take a look at them and see if there's anything we can, uh, we can do going forward. So yeah, thanks a lot and I'll catch you on the next one, bye for now.